good tablet for the money, especially if it's for college note-taking. Okay for content consumption, could work as a drawing tablet depending on what size your previous drawing tablet was. I bought this tablet to take notes in college, and it has been an exceptional tool. Samsung Notes is already a pretty good app, being able to sync across from my tablet to my phone. The screen is large enough that I feel like I can write out the entire page of notes and read it, but small enough that I don't have a floppy piece of metal that bends. The S Pen works fine. I don't know what I'm missing with it being the battery-less version, but it is what it is. Samsung DX has been very useful turning my tablet into a mini-computer. Chromebook is more accurate when I Bluetooth my keyboard and mouse to it. It struggles to display more than two windows at the same time, unfortunately. Pros the screen is relatively good looking for content watching, although 1080p. The screen is bright enough to take notes while under studio lights. Almost too bright at its dimmest setting. S Pen drawing feels responsive and on point. It has stereo audio. 3.5mm AUX port, very useful. Metal body, if you really care. Who doesn't use a case? Has a rear-facing camera and front-facing camera. Expandable storage up to one terabyte. Beyond great value for this price point. Past the Linus drop. I dropped it while opening the box onto my concrete floor like an idiot. Your mileage may vary. I don't recommend testing it. Cons. No biometrics other than face unlock. Face unlock functionality is spotty and does not work when wearing a mask, obviously. Speakers are not really loud enough for content watching in a loud environment menace style in public. Rear-facing camera quality is a joke if the lighting is not perfect. It works, but won't even win a consolation award, let alone arrive at the finish line. I would consider this a little too small to be a drawing tablet. Unless you're coming from a Huion 420 series drawing tablet. Storage is small at 64GB.